farm. Ah, that doesn't yet have a name. Digging a little trench here. Connecting our rain roof to our water tanks. So water collection's coming soon. I'm hoping I have this all done by the end of this video. Yesterday was a really good day. We actually got the gutters installed on our rain roof. We had a couple South Africans come and help us and get in a couple extra hands. It's always amazing. It always makes things happen so much faster. So Candace and Lloyd came. They just moved here. We actually had no idea about what's going on in South Africa right now. Uh, a bunch of South Africans are leaving. Kind of crazy, but I'll leave that up to you guys if you want to learn more on Google. Just type in South Africans leaving South Africa and the whole story is crazy. But by the end of this video, I have one goal and my goal is to connect this to this and hopefully be collecting some rain. I need to take a little break. It's, I've been shoveling this hole for three hours. So let's go see what Kaylee's doing. Hi, Lola. Hi, Hi good girl. Hi, Lola. Hi, Lola. How are you doing? Did you make Lola food? I'm working on it. Uh, it's not done yet. Not yet. So I get to film Lola eating her food? Huh? So I get to film Lola eating her food? <laughs> oh, boy, are you excited? You want your nummies? You want your nummies? You want your nummies? Come on. So we just got some really big news. We had to come down to town to, you guys know this place, our favorite little coffee shop, because we just got some news. Let's go find out! Hey, check this out. Look at this, you guys. What is this? <laughs> We have chicken and we, uh, So our collaboration and coffee and with our Taro and his coffee shop um, is finally ready. Guys, check this label out. Look at that. So the name of our collaboration coffee with our Taro is called The Morning Movement. You guys get it? Wow, it's it's amazing. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's you know, it's it means so much to us. Yeah, we've been working on this collaboration for what, I don't know, a month or two, yeah. trying different coffees, trying to work out the logistics. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I can barely, you know, contain my emotions. <laughs> so tell the people like 10 seconds on like what's special about this. All right, it's very special because we crafted this blend especially for uh, the, your followers, for the people who have been following your story. And uh, we're in Panama and we're in Boquete. It's one of the most renowned place for growing geisha. We've been drinking this coffee for what, two weeks now? And we were just like, this is the one, the second we tried, like, this is the one, this is it. But I think what Arturo said is the most special thing about this is where it's grown. So let's take you to the farm right now. Welcome to Hacienda Barbara. You guys, look at all these coffee plants behind us. <laughs> let's show you guys around. You guys might actually recognize this land. And the crazy part of all of this is we just made it up to the first vista point of the coffee farm. And this coffee farm is basically our next door neighbor. Our farm is right around this hillside right here. And it just so happens we're right next door. So we thought that was so crazy and so meant to be. I mentioned that the morning movement blend yeah. has got is designed with 75% uh, of geisha pea berry mm -hmm. and 25% of katuai wash. Right. So we're in Hacienda Barbara, mm -hmm. and here we have uh, the geisha area where we're taking our beans from. Mm -hmm. What's the cost of a pound of geisha, and then what's the reason for that? Thing? Thousand, a thousand twenty-nine dollars a pound. So that would be like two thousand three hundred dollars a kilo oh for God. green unroasted beans. Wow. For the producer, it's got to be more expensive, or he has to sell it more expensive because it yields less fruit okay. than a regular traditional variety. And it takes longer. And grow. it takes longer. So a traditional variety will take one or two years to give you fruit. Mm -hmm. A geisha tree can take anywhere between four to six years. So geisha is 
different, it's very different than any other uh, coffee out there. Uh, at least the ones that I've tried. It's very delicate and it's characterized for having citrusy, herbal and um, citrusy, herbal and tea-like notes. Right. So that's why we're going with this geisha blend because we want to be able to bring the, the taste, the flavor, the specialty of the geisha but then we're also mixing it with 25% katui so you get that traditional uh, traditional you know kind of slapping in the face absolutely, thing you're absolutely. hoping for yeah chocolate nuts you know um, earthy yeah earthy notes bring it you know combined perfectly I think with this blend I think you're gonna have you're gonna people are gonna really like it I think so too and and this right behind us this is where all the geishas grown so you guys know a lot of love went to this four to six years until these plants started producing fruit so a lot of effort a lot of love a lot of dedication went to bringing you guys that bag of coffee so we've shown you guys half of the process of where this morning movement coffee is gonna come from but now we have to show you the other half and I think that this is also really special and that is the roasting Welcome to the place where all this coffee is going to be roasted. Right in this coffee roaster, this is Arturo's house. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so you want to show him kind of what you, your setup over here and what you, what you do? Sure, sure. Well, this is my living room, guys, as you can see. <laughs> uh, no secrets here. We don't have a fancy lab or anything like that. <laughs> we just do this with a lot of love. So um, this is my living room. I told my wife, get rid of the furniture, get rid of everything. My kids just leave your bikes over there. You want to roast some, some coffee? Yeah, let's, 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 let's roast it. a batch. Okay. Okay. Stuff. He's rambling off all these numbers. 171. We have already marked down the cinnamon one and the 161. Oh, Green to yellow. Go. It's uniform looking yellow. Yeah. Take 52. So let's do 8 minutes and 2 seconds. 187. Already cooling down. Perfect. He's listening. He's listening. I wonder what it's telling you. There. Oh, it's like a popcorn. It's, yeah, it's like popcorn, but that was a fake one. And just like that, from the farm to the roastery. To our cups. To our cups and into our mouths. So all this coffee is roasted to order. So. If you want some, there's a link on the top of the description and you can purchase this coffee right now and Arturo will then roast it. So Arturo believes all coffee should be consumed no longer than one month after it's been roasted. So and the, the max amount of time that it will be from roasting to your house will be two weeks. So that's how we're going to do this. That's how we're going to get, this was the hardest thing to figure out is right. how can we get you guys the coffee from Panama to your house within two weeks. But we so, figured it out. So we figured it out. So top link in the description is a link to the morning movement. I think you guys will love it. And we'd love to be able to help you out with your morning movements. <laughs> if, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So there's no time to waste. We're heading back up to the land and we're gluing some PVC pipes. You hear that squeaking? If that was a year ago, I'd be freaking out. But this same thing happened. You guys remember a year ago when we were in San Francisco? And uh, that was happening. I was freaking out that our bus was broken. Oh, look at that tire. Ooh. That's a nice tire. Real nice. So here's the sound. I'll show you what's going on. If you just give this a little turn, if I can. Yeah, you hear that? Is. So we're going to try and take this whole thing apart. I have no idea how to do it. Well, now I know that I just need new brake pads. And the good thing is repairs here in Panama are so, so cheap. So I'm going to a uh, mechanic now to see how much it costs. Any guesses on how much you think it costs? <laughs> to get four new brakes, two new drum brakes, and then two new uh, rotors. Um. And the labor. And all the labor. Forty dollars. 
No. <laughs> for all that? <laughs> we call, this will cost us $50 for a mechanic lesson. Alright, the labor's 45 Okay. But, uh, so, with, 100, with all, 100 bucks. No, with all the parts, it's 230 bucks. Whoa. I spent $600 on rotors for the bus. And that's without labor? Yeah, that's without labor. Alright, alright, alright. That's pretty good. That's You're pretty such good. a buzzkill when you I'm do that. sorry. <laughs> you always do that. Like, I'm so excited. You're I'm like... comparing it to our last experience with our with our mechanic, Wait. which is only $50. Yeah. But it's all good. That's still a pretty dang good deal when you think about it. Yeah. So we're coming in on the last leg of this big rainwater project that we got going on. So I'm hoping, what do you think, Liv? You think we're going to have it all done by today? Oh, we have to. No, no doubt. We have to. What are you doing? You think I can do it with this? What do you think? You think I can do it? Hold on. I try to get going up to speed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was like three spins, dude. That was great. So first, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Teflon tape on this fitting. You gotta make sure you give it a nice tidy tidy. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. <laughs> So now we're installing a valve on each tank so we can turn, we can isolate tanks, mm -hmm. turn two off, turn one off, turn three off, just so we can clean them in the future. Okay, that's four. Ooh, now one. we're connecting those two together. We're doing this thing. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> Just like that, all the tanks are connected. Woo! So make sure this doesn't bounce back. So let me show you guys kind of what we got going on over here. So we have five valves. Yeah. We can isolate each tank, and then we have like one master valve here. Right. That we can so try, try stop all the flow of water. Yeah. So the idea is the water is going to come into this tank from the rain roof. Mm -hmm. It's going to go in there, and then it's going to all the tanks are going to fill together because all these tanks are connected. Right. So they're all going to fill up right. and they're all, it's all going to pull out of here to right. the pump, to our pump house. So we'll eventually put a pump house over there. Right here. It's going to be like, a, we're going to put water uh, and electricity. It's going to be like a utility shed. Right. So, it looks pretty good. No, I, mean, I think we did pretty good for our first time doing this kind of thing. Now we just got to get the roof connected the, the PVC we gotta get this big sucker in right. here so as you guys can see this obviously isn't connected yet so we just have to connect that and then run piping to this first one here and then bada bing bada boom baby yeah. we'll be collecting some water Woo! I'm sorry for the buzzkill why well, I'm talking about that not to you you already know the buzzkill what's the buzzkill that we're not gonna get the water tank all connected oh, and test I, out know. The, I know I know that, that was our big plan for the day but Kaylee went and got her hair done, and I went to go get some parts. And you guys, just to give you a little, uh, little, little update here. This is for the ladies, right? This is for the ladies. So I went and got my hair done back in July. Back These are the home. times when Kaylee just gives way too many details. So we'll, we'll, we'll. well, no, this is important. This is important. I know, but you love to go in on like on these such specific details. I spent almost three hundred dollars on my hair last time, and that wasn't expected. I, I wasn't. I wasn't happy about it. I wasn't even. Ex I thought it was going to be 150, and it ended up being 300 dollars. I'm not happy. Them. I wasn't happy about either of those prices. My hair cost 15 dollars. Today, today, I got a cut, a partial foil, a blow dry, and a scalp massage for 55 dollars. Not I was too shabby. I was happy about that. <laughs> so then, but for the water tanks and stuff, I had to go and get some parts and just make some stuff work. Yeah. And I was just like, you know, when you just See, this is something that a lot of the guys out there can relate, relate to. Because you just get in the hardware store and you start thinking. And that's like where most 
of the best thinking is done. Yeah. Because then you have like all these things around you that probably like help you like think clearly about things. For sure. So it started raining, and then it started raining out. So this is where we're going to call it. And you're going to have to watch in the next one of us connecting our rain roof to our water tank finally and testing some things out. So. Absolutely. So there's some fun things in store. But for now, this is where we're going to leave you guys. We're so excited about this coffee launch. We're so excited about everything that is to come. And we're so excited to have you guys along for this journey with us. Check out the coffee in the description if you're a coffee drinker. And, and even if you're not, you're going to want to try this coffee. We'll see you guys next time. We'll see you next time.